what welding procedure is most common and can benefit an individual the most who's actually trying to get a job, get some employment, get some money going. That would be MIG welding, flux core welding, and stick welding. Those are the two most common that everyone tend to ask questions about. There's big needs in factories and manufacturing shops and plants and iron working. Um, there's a big need for those two. So on the majority scale, I would say flux core, MIG welding, and also stick welding. In stick welding, I was asked, which one should I get my certs in if I can only get one? Well, I have my 6G Unlimited. If you can get your 6G Unlimited, I would say do that. But if you're trying to jump into the structural money or to still be able to kill several birds with one stone, you can get your 3 and 4G certs and 3 8 or Unlimited Plate. However you want to do it, you can get it certified in what you know you're going to be doing. So if you know you're going to be on 3 8 plate or half inch, you can do that. And also um, MIG welding. A lot of the fabrication shops don't require you to have a certification in MIG welding. They require you to pass one of their in-shop MIG welding courses. They might have you weld up a tube or run a lap joint or a T joint in what they're making because when you're making products the company can be certified over their products and you don't have to necessarily be certified they can in-house certify you so a lot of times coming in with a MIG welding cert don't really help you a whole lot but now the flux core will because that's something that can be done in the field and the shop and flux core also requires a certain level of thickness. You can actually get unlimited certs on the flux core like an inch. Inch and up is like no uh, unlimited. So a lot of times that can be a great asset in the field if you're doing iron working, if you're doing metal buildings, um, if you're installing, if you're doing certain pipe work. Now they have certain pulse in the field. Or you can do wire in the, in the field and it's faster and it still give a good route. So it all depends on what you're doing. But I would most definitely say stick welding, MIG welding, slash flux core welding are the three procedures of welding that is very, very um, common and is actually a great demand for. Now, TIG welding I also do, but TIG welding isn't a big need for those who are actually just trying to get started and trying to find what they want now for some who do we do offer TIG welding for those who want it it is available but i teach more stick mig and flux core welding hold on